I was asked, why did you move to Bandera? And I said, I finally found Texas. There won't be any more cowboys. The cities are spreading, technology's taking over. There's, you know, there's already cattle ranchers that don't even use horses anymore. Every person I meet that comes to this ranch, the kids, the adults, they want to be a cowboy. I'd like to go back and live in those days. I want my community, Bandera, to become and stay greater but the same. The cowboy is not necessarily boots and chaps and a hat and a belt and all this stuff. I said, being a cowboy is an attitude. It is your self-reliant, you respect people. Oh, don't make me cry. You know, when you own a horse, there's this relationship that's built. You're in an environment when you grow up in that, you don't really have a gauge for the outside world. Freedom is earned. It's not something that is just given to you. I, I think women can do almost anything that a man can do. A lot of people come in, they, they really miss the great people we had in earlier days. I'm proud of Bandera. I'm proud that we're the cowboy capital of the world, and I'm proud of where I'm from, Pola. Today we're going to visit Bandera. We're going to walk up and we're going to open those doors. We're going to walk through those doors. And we're going to show you what happens in Bandera why Bandera is the way it is, and why we are the way we are. I always tell people that the only thing that changes in Bandera is the date. <laughs>